Hello everyone, Chubo Basie, and welcome back to more Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo. Last time, we made our way through the factory levels of Cren Creme Croc Industries Incorporated, and now we're on the Chimp Caverns. And as the other levels in the, in the previous worlds weren't bad enough, these are even harder. So this is where, this is where it really gets tough. Tanked up trouble. This, like, we're starting off with a, with a weird, with a nasty gimmick. And it's a lot, it's a lot like the, the Trick Track Trek that was in World 5, except there's a fuel thing here, though. Although, first of all, though, I don't know how you're supposed to know about this, though. In the first place, though, there's a bonus barrier right down there that very first turn. Because I don't see it on the screen. Because I didn't see a thing on the screen, so I'll... That, that was kind of a, how do you think, how, how did you see that? How do you, supposed to know that without a guide or something like that, though, because... There's like, there's like no, but there's like no barrel, there's like no bananas or anything that gives you like a hint or anything like that, though. But, but it was, it was just a simple one-up thing, though. So at least it's not, not so bad there. Yeah. So but yeah, like I don't know, the, I don't, I didn't see anything that was supposed to hint at that, though. But, but, the, but the giving this level here is the fuel here, though. It's like, it's, a, it's the outscore with the fuel here, though. If, if the fuel runs out, the the platform will just fall off, and then you can't go any, and then you won't be able to go any further. You're done. It's it's over. And this actually has an interesting little. Th this actually has an interesting little thing that's not present in other level, in other levels actually, and that is the. And that is that the fact, the fact of that is that you. Well, if the fuel runs out, if you're on a main platform, and the platform falls away, you it actually plays the. Fi it actually plays the, 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 the animation and the music for a failed minigame and then you just lose life instantly. The, it's the only time in the game that that happens outside of a minigame. That happens though, but but yeah, basically the game basically says, yeah, you, you, you're you you're, you're screwed, so we just put you out of your misery type of deal though, so. And they all, first part of the level not so bad though, the second half of the level things start getting tight because you start getting less fuel for each thing though, and there's one point later on where it gets really, really tight. All right, so let's see. Bring the, I'm bringing this tire over here, though, to in order to reach that one over there. So yeah, like I said, but otherwise it's a, it's an auto scroller. So joy. Well, got a bit of a slowdown there. I actually don't think I need the tire anymore. Okay, this is where it starts getting tight because now you start getting some of the ones with only the one piece of fuel here, though. So. Like I said, I guess it starts getting pretty tight right here. So it's basically, if you miss one, you're done. At least that one will clear up that though. So okay, let's get past these zingers right here. Get through these, get these bananas right here. This is where it gets a bit interesting though, because that barrel will take you to the last platform here. But over this way here is the, but that's your way to get to get the last Kong letter though to write to write that out there. That that blast bell that was up there would just propel you forward. To, to that plat to that platform past the the moving platform here, but tanked up trouble. That was a thing that that could be a nasty level at times. Though I'm surprised I did it first try though. Manic mincer. Oh, this level. Remember those mincer things I talk about? There, they are everywhere here and moving around on all sorts of fronts here. This level is gonna hurt. We have Rambi that's to supposedly help us out here, though. Rambi can't do anything with these missiles, so you're gonna have to dodge them just as well. And and this level's mean, though, like because he does bounce up a bit after after taking out an enemy. If you're not careful with that, though, he can bounce off he can bounce off those beavers right into the mincer and and then of course run for it. Though. So you can't just you can't just gun it for this for this one here if you're not careful, or you could just. Do that like an idiot. Please tell me that there's a wall. That works too. This is right over there, so I can. At least I can get him back that way, so that that works too. TNT barrel there would have helped out with would help out with another one as well, or that or that or that barrel right there would do it as well because there's a bonus level right there that you need either the barrel or the TNT or the, any one of those barrels or the blah Rambi for that one though. But no one of those there. I actually did not mean to take the hit there. Although it would have been, although it is faster. And, oh come on, no Rambi! Oh, Rambi's gone. Uh, I hate this level. I hate this level, and the TNT barrels don't even do anything to them either. Okay, thank goodness there was, a, thank goodness there was a DK barrel right there. 
and at least we get past these crushes. <laughs> okay, that was. Okay, this. Oh, that's mean. I forgot. I forgot it did that. That is mean. That 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 one comes out of nowhere. There. This one right here. It is technically a bonus area though, but but it doesn't play the bonus thing though. So that's something to watch out for though. So if those missiles hit you. You don't die. You just go. You, you get kicked out like a like a regular bonus level here though. You're gonna want the DK barrel over here though. I, I want to see you wanna jump right over there because there's one more over there. It's it's easy to hit the to hit the beaver that's below you by mistake though. So that's kind of a jerkishly placed enemy there. I think it was to the left. Yes, it was. Something I actually need to go back and check on that though is how well the how well that minigame works with the sprite limitate. With with the 30 frames per second that the, that my program does. But that that's one that's another one down. Then that's all the bonus areas here though. So So yeah. Actually, I'm not doing as bad over here as I thought I was. There, Misty Mine. Okay, this area right here. This one doesn't really have a nasty. This, this one's not really like a nasty game, like, like sparing a bunch of really bad enemies. So, the main thing here are these bear, all these drum, all these little those those enemy barrels that will that basically like to keep setting enemies. Though you can destroy them with TNT barrels, though. But you you are going to need to get past certain. I mean. You, I mean, you are gonna need. Uh, actually, no, you, no, you don't. I'm, I'm never. I was thinking you needed it for like a bonus area, though. But, but you probably do later in the level. But this is the, this is this is one of those I don't remember where they are all hiding. Oh wow, well, that's kind of jerkish. Though. I went to throw it, and then it 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 counted as the hit right there and there since I was standing on top of it. So okay, at least bonus. At least that's a checkpoint barrel right here. I'm gonna go down here though, that though, but also notice there's a lot more rope down here, and that's, that's your clue for the bonus area that's hiding down here. And this is where all the Kong le letters are hiding, actually though. So if you want the Kong letters, this is where they all all are. And it's just basically going through some figure eight patterns here, and chance for express to get express out here though. And I feel like I'm missing. I feel like I'm missing something already. I feel like I'm missing something. No, Express! Well, Express is just hiding right there. Oh, wait, no, I... Wait, I remember. Oh, I actually don't want Expresso for this right here. So, bye, Ex I actually don't need Expresso for this. I actually don't want Expresso. Because I actually want to get past all of these guys. Because it's down here. Yeah, that's what it is. And, and it's one of these things here. Time for DK face palm and for the intentional field. Because again, I, I'm done. With, I've said, I said it before. I've said it again. I'm done with those, with those sections here. I think that means Express has gone away too. Yeah, I think it has. So unfortunately, the Express doesn't help out too much if you're going for the hundred percent. But now I think that's all of them in this in this one here. Like, because I, I think some of these levels stop getting a lot of. The bonus areas. Oh, I wish I had DKA right now because of all these armies. Because again, Diddy Kong can't kill him in one hit. Okay, yeah. I was at least I got to test that there. He can roll into them. I must have just mistimed it. One of those times with that though. But yeah, Misty Mine is done. So actually getting through this quite easy. Actually, getting through this one quite as easily as well, easier than I thought it was here. Loopy, oh, this level, Loopy Lights. It's no, it's another, it's it's another it's another mine level though. But it's you, you have to worry about the lights here as well. These, these barrels will turn the lights on here, and this is if not for the main game, this would be the one that debuted the, the those little purple clap traps here. You see, banana's hiding right right down there. That's your hand for a bonus barrel down there. Got some of these here. More of those there, so it's another rapid fire one though, so that that works at least though. Or or work at least where you can rapid fire if you want it though. And I I remember I mean the jumping clap traps can throw you off at times though, but like, because again they jump with you. So if you're not careful that that, that can that can hit you uh, catch you unawares. But this one isn't so bad if you're doing just a regular run through it, not going for the bonuses. There's one nasty one. There's one nasty 
one trying to reach a bonus area later here, which I'm expecting to not get my first try. These jumpy clap traps, these... Also the fact that it gets, actually does get hard to see after that though, so... Oh! Got, actually got hit by that. Alright, I think I'm gonna want that. Okay, yeah. That's for that, and you can also use the, the tire to on that platform there too. To reach the bananas over there, though. Alright, so... We're doing alright here. Oh, this is it right here. This is it. I, I, I didn't reach it high enough to, to reach that, though. So, yeah, I will, I will intentionally take the hit to get rid of that vulture. Because you, you're going to want this barrel right here. Because you, there's a wall right there that you got to get to, though. Which I wasn't able to show too well with the light. And the guy watch the light here though. And that's that's it though. It's just it's like an extra little area over there for that though. But I'm actually a mate. Actually, I isn't too bad. For, that one wasn't too bad though. But I, but again, that's because I had to intentionally take the hit. Although I am worried about a little bit later there because now you have this last little area here with all these zing, with all the zingers here. The eyeball the, the eyes give away give away where they are if you have a hard time seeing them though. They're, they're the part that sticks out. Okay, I thought that was gonna be a little close there. And th this is where it gets. I had the light on and I still messed that messed that up. I had the lights on. Well, that's at least all the bonus areas in, th in this one here. Again, like so, again, like the stuff you expect to screw up is the stuff that actually you do first try, and then and then once you. And then something you don't think is going to be too much of a problem. Although, I did expect that to be a bit of a problem, though, because I didn't have a... Because, well, I had already... I had already... I already had the one Kong there. So, at least this time I can take a hit. At least this time I can take a hit. Again, like I said, this level has a really... This world had some really nasty levels here, though. And yet, I'm beating most of them pretty handily, though. Like, like honestly, the... That the orangutan level gave me more problems in the. Oh, speaking of orangutans, though, because it's it's more of this guy throwing the the, the barrels at me though, and how did I, and seriously, I did that perfectly then, and uh, and that's a jerkishly placed clap trap there for that one, a jumpy clap clap trap there like that though. That is a jerkishly placed one there. But Luby lights is done. That's everything though, and platform perils. Oh, this is a bad level. This is a bad, 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 bad level. First of all, you got these crushes right here. The gray ones here. Not even Donkey Kong, not even DK can kill them by jumping off them. You have to kill them with barrels. And there's a bonus level hidden right. There's a bo there's a barrel right there. To get that though, you kind of have to go over there to. I messed that. We're off to a great start with platform barrels. Well, there, there is a platform underneath that platform here, so to where. I just bounce off it though and land over that one though. Again, it's again you're not really able to see it too well. You're not really able to see it though. So again, uh, so I don't know with that though. So let's see if I can get, let's see if I can suppose one because it's probably gonna be an extra life. I swear if it's not an extra life. Okay, it's good. It's an extra life. I I have I have no idea where the counter is on where the, where the actual life counter is right now. So future me, you're gonna have to resolve that there. This is actually the level where you are gonna want DK in front though, because of all the there's, there's a lot of arm, there's a lot of enemies here that he can kill one hit. I mean, you, you could always just roll off through those, those clumps there, but there are there are a lot of armies here. The mechanic of this though is all, all these platforms here that go will go in that one direction, and then you can so you have to ride it out there though. So it's a lot of first time goes this level is a lot of memories, kind of learning the pattern of like where these platforms go. So. First time playing this level, it's gonna be a lot of trial and error. Trust me. And I'm. Uh, then again, this is considered the hardest level in the. Then again, this is the, considered the hardest level in the game. So don't don't feel too bad about this for that one though. So, so let's see how well Diddy Kong can handle this though. But it, but again, like Diddy Kong, you do. But, but again, like all these enemies that you that you can't kill with Diddy Kong in one hit, though you gotta watch for that, though. Yeah, all those, yeah, all the, but yeah, the platforms basically go in the direction that they say, and they will fall off after a while. 
Whoa! I'm actually surprised it did that. And it respawned, too. Alright, so let's hurry down here. How did that not keep rolling? Or maybe it's because it hit the, the way I threw it. It kind of hit that, though. This is kind of a jerkish thing, though, especially if you're playing as Diddy Kong! Okay, there's the O here and this one guy. Yeah, the, the checkpoint barrel kills the B right there. That's one thing that's always stood out to me in this level here, though. This is where it starts getting bad, where you're going to have to start doing a lot of trial and error learning of this level here, though. If you're low on lives, I highly recommend going to Funky's Flights Inn and backtracking to a previous world here. So, this part's not so bad, though, with these beaver, with the naughties. And, oh, there's a clump there that was... What? I was actually amazed I did that I didn't... I was actually surprised I actually pulled that off and... I was expected to die there so before before that, though, so... I was, I was so caught off guard by it, though, that I, could, that I didn't think to... Jump there. Platform. Okay, pla back to platform barrels. And then... Coming back in a level. Opens up the barrel. And kills the bee that's circling it, though. Like I said, that part has always stood out to me. I've always liked that part! DK, you're getting in front. I've had it with this. Yeah, this is a, this is more what I expected to happen, though. That was also that was also a bad throw, too. And I was just... Actually, didn't even need to bounce off. Oh! I, I actually thought I missed it. I thought I missed it for a minute there. Yeah, this is more what I was expecting to happen with this world here. But at least there, you can bounce off the clumps that way, though. And then... Like I said, there's some tricky plat... What's some interesting tight platforming here, though? Okay, watch that there. Okay, this is where it starts getting bad, because now they start throwing those gray crushes on... On the platforms as well. Remember, you have you have to you have to kill them with the barrels. You can't like not, like not even DK can bounce off the gray crushes. So this is where it starts getting bad here. And uh, yeah, so like I said, this is where it starts getting really like trial and error as far as like seeing where to go there and being able to react in time though. So and then I think I think we're almost to the end of it there. Okay, that was the thing, though. The Alrighty, here, though. And the Wait, no. I did miss something here. Please throw that platform's back. Down here, on this platform right here. What? No! I opened my mouth and I wasn't ready for it! No! Because down there was the final bonus area for platform perils. Ugh. Oh. I gotta do that again. At least we get that satisfying... Like, the, the like, at least we get that satisfying destruction of a bee, of a zinger, by... By, well, but just entering the level here, though. Oh, uh, I don't, I don't know if I want to show that again, though, because, uh, considering, though... Whoa, okay, that, that actually worked out a bit differently than I was expecting it to. There's actually a glitch, there's a, there is a glitch that basically, most speedrunners will explore a glitch for this level here, because, where you basically just like fly through this thing, though, I have no idea how to do it, though. This is, this is, this is again, like, it's not so bad once you learn it, though, but it's like, it's like, like any, diff, like any tough game, you gotta learn it. You gotta learn the game with this here, so. Oh. No, get over there! I cannot believe that actually worked. Yeah, <laughs> Diddy Call can't believe it either. But down there is the last bonus area here. And it's one. Oh, it's the one for the on guard one, though, so. Time. Well, Diddy Kong, spoiler warning, you're gonna get to talk about how I feel here. I'm. Uh, which one was it? I want to say it was uh, this one here. No, I knew. I knew it was that one there. I did that on purpose. That's how I feel right now, Diddy Kong. <sighs> Lost in so many of the stupidest ways possible here, but that's platform perils. And down there is Neki's Revenge. That's a boss fight here. 
candy. Let's let, let's go ahead and save after that though. You really came a long way. Save the game now while you have a chance. You bet as well. Hundred percent. That is hundred percent right there. So what does that tell you? We pretty much are at the end of the game here. There. So, but first, before we do go to the boss, let's give Cranky one last visit here. Here, come on over. Beach talking to myself. <laughs> All right, what do you have over there? You know what this? Okay, I heard that one already. Leap of faith. Again, it's like, bounce out a keg off a wall, then jump on as you as it rolls back, you can ride. That's basically you're about the steel keg thing. I don't know any more than that at the moment. So that's basically telling you get out of here, though. Again, but again, even at this point in the game, Cranky only gives hints of the first world. Again, a lot of unused dialogue to, for him to have hints at the later worlds. Though they do fix, they did fix that in, in the later game. I, I think the. And I think in some of the port, I think in some of the, I think some of the ports of the remakes actually, like, like the Game Boy Advance port, I think does have some of those lines there. But in the Super Nintendo version, they're not there. Future me, correct me on that if I'm wrong though. But as far as like the ports, but I know they're not there in the Super Nintendo version. Though. But in any case, Neki's Revenge, where our boss is, another reskin boss. This is th this was basically a rehash of the first of the of the one from the second world. Why did I not jump off the tire? Except it'll, except it'll keep spitting out, it'll spit out more, it'll spit out more of these, each one. For, for each one there, you use, use the tire to dodge them. I'm a little tired right there, got, got it somehow. But yeah, that is, that is that boss. Oh my gosh, that was like one of the most heart-wrenching fights I've had it right there. So up next is Gangplank Galleon. So we're pretty much at the end of it right here though. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this off here though because there's stuff I wanna talk about as well and I'm, and I'm also probably gonna showcase some of this as well. Some other stuff in the video after, the, after this as well. But in any case, next time we're finishing this. Gangplank Galleon, here we come. See you guys then, thank y'all for watching.